every time we come here and we don't invest in our children, we are the ones that are helping them out that door. I'm no better. I am no better. Because everything I just told you about, about those folks in their homes and they're just going off at the mouth, that's me. That was me. And I say it was because I learned now. Just wait till they go on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I never realized that I had all these children that were talking and, and was around me. And my temper was like this. And somebody said something one day to me after a board meeting. And I went home and I was venting. I ain't gonna lie. I looked and said, God, every time I run my mouth, one of my kids popped up. But what I didn't realize that was God telling me, shut up. If every time you run in your mouth when your kids pop up, shut up. And if you don't have any kids, shut up. <laughs> I didn't realize what I was doing was setting my children up for failure. My, I was setting my kids up. I was setting my sons, my daughters, to not love the Word of God. <laughs> Remember I said that naked truth? I got to keep it real because my son walked in the door and I'm like, Because I can't fake anything in front of them. I got nieces and nephews that don't know blood to me, but they know me. They know that nakedness of me. So when you think that you are doing it up, they know what you're doing. Yeah. You know how many young people have come back and said, why are they talking about me? Her skirt just a shirt. Mm -hmm. Or better yet, how come when I see her out in the street and she's not with who she should have been with? Or as they get up here and they're talking, and they wear the same clothes with the rest of them. So what are you teaching? What are you saying? But yet you're judging what's behind them. Maybe it's that attitude that they have. It's because they have seen you not be true. 